Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Why Was Yaakov Afraid of Killing Esav? So it says in the Pasuk, as Yaakov and Pasuk Yishlach is preparing for war against Esav, the Yerav, Ayetze, he was afraid, and Rashi says, two fears, one of killing Esav, one of being killed by Esav. So the commentaries ask, if Tehram and Rashi says, why well, was he afraid of killing Esau? The fact is that in war, someone's coming to kill you, you kill him first. So many answers are given. Right? So Tehram says that very nice that halachically it's mutter to kill Esau, but uh, what's that going to do to Yitzhak? Yitzhak finds out that Esau, his son, died, was killed, and killed by whom? His other son. So that's what he was afraid of. Some say he was afraid of the fact that he's <clears throat> many people there that he might kill. Yak Asaf has four hundred men with him. Now are they all really liable to be killed? Maybe uh, they just need to be stopped. Who says that they really are all coming to kill As to kill Yaakov? Maybe they're sort of forced in to join Asaf. It's not so clear. So he was afraid maybe he will kill someone unnecessarily. Some quote the Nitziv and other places in the Torah where he says that the fear was, okay, I'm supposed to kill him. And how ugly it's fine, but what, could, what does that do to my soul when I kill another person? Can that affect my soul in a negative way? Can it bring a certain aggression? And therefore, yes, how ugly it's fine to kill, but I was afraid of the ramifications. So the Vachik says, <laughs> even if supposed to kill Asaph. Well, luckily it's fine. It's his brother. It's his brother. That's a horrible thing to kill a brother. It's one thing to kill an enemy you have no connection to, to kill a brother. Even if things went in a horrible direction, spin, spiraled out of control, so so if it's a brother. So we have all these different reasons and many more why Yaakov was afraid to kill his brother. And one simple lesson I would like to just mention is I always think of our incredible young man and woman in Sal. I go to when you go to a checkpoint and you see them going into a difficult neighborhood and they're checking who's coming in, who's coming out. I'm always amazed. They have the fingers on their trigger, ready to go in and shoot, which of course they should. At the same time, you pass by, you say, Shalom Aleichem. Thank you so much. Appreciate your protection. You see that beautiful smile, and I'm always amazed to see how this next generation can go ahead and somehow master the art of defending us and rightfully being in an aggressive framework to go ahead and take down the enemy, and at the same time not lose that humanity, that beautiful Jewish neshama. It's amazing to see how they could be afraid to, to, how they are trained to kill Baruch Hashem, to kill and destroy the enemy if needed, but at the same time where it does not sully the soul and make these young men and women into aggressive creatures by nature, to be able to keep the ability to defend ourselves together with the beautiful Simcha Sachaim and Ahavtorei HaKamocha. May Hashem continue to bless us, the incredible members of Tzahal. May give them all siyata deshmaya, not only doing their job in such an incredible way, but also be able to keep that beautiful, beautiful simcha and love and sweetness. Shalom.